Three Minute Mastery from Module 3, Heat Pumps. Here we're going to talk about probably the most popular or at least the most common way to create a temperature difference. Now, before we get into this, let me point out again the difference between a heat engine and a heat pump. In a heat engine, we use a temperature difference. In a heat pump, we create a temperature difference. So in looking at the compression cooling cycle, uh, probably the best thing to do is to start at step one right here. So we have some heat transfer fluid, otherwise known as HTF. Oftentimes it's Freon or used to be Freon and now it's some other gas, but you've probably heard of Freon. And it's flowing through uh, this pipe, right? So it moves around and it doesn't really go anywhere except for in this cycle. It just goes around and around. Uh, it doesn't interact with anything else. This is what is known as a closed loop system. So in step one, it's our fluid, our heat transfer fluid, our HTF. It's pretty warm. In fact, it's warmer than uh, its surrounding atmosphere. So if we were to put a container right here, we would find that Q one, the heat here, or the heat in this pipe, and this is Q box, I don't know, we would find that Q one is greater than Q box. So according to the laws of thermodynamics, the energy will flow from here to here. All right, so uh, it has given some energy off and it cools off a little bit, right? The kinetic energy slows down. And then it comes to step two, and here we have an expansion valve. And according to the gas law, if we allow this to expand rapidly, then it's going to cool off significantly. So from here to here, at step two, our heat transfer fluid cools off considerably. It's so cool, in fact, that if we put a box right here, and I call this Q other box, and uh, the heat transfer fluid has some heat value at step three of Q3, then Q3 is much less than the heat of the other box, this box that's over here, right? Okay, so uh, again, by the laws of thermodynamics, heat will be absorbed or will move into the heat transfer fluid as it's contained in these pipes. So it's pretty dark blue up here, and as it passes over this temperature, it starts to warm up a little bit. And uh, so now it's warmer, and, and here we move into step four. Here we have some compressor, and it's going to do exactly the opposite of what happened in step two. This is going to compress our heat transfer fluid, and by the gas laws, we know that a compre when we compress a gas or a fluid, that it gets much hotter. So what we're doing is absorbing the energy in step three, giving it more heat so that it's hotter than this other box over here, and we'll be more likely to expel that heat. Uh, we want to cool it off so that it can gain a bunch of heat energy from this box and then heat it up so that it will have a lot of energy to give off here. So for your notes what I would like you to do is draw and I don't mean sketch I mean draw uh, a heat pump and find a picture of one in the wild. Have that stuff for your notes so that you have easy access to it.